Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I'm going to be doing a different video. I am going to be showing you my bug collection. So this may seem a little uh, interesting and a little bit different for a typical video, uh, but I, I guess it wouldn't be a surprise to see something like this on the channel. But I wanted to go through all of the bugs that I have on here and pretty much just talk about them and where I got them at, and then maybe we could do another video on what each um bug is what the name of it is and uh i don't know try to figure out like maybe the specific like long names the scientific names we could always do that as well but i just wanted to talk a little bit about just the bugs that i have here and where i got them at so yeah let's uh let's start from like left to right i guess this is a beetle i don't know what kind of beetle but it is a beetle and um my brother now keep in mind all the bugs that are in this case um i did not kill but my brother killed this beetle he threw a rock at it to kill it i guess that's what he told me so cool and then he gave it to me he put it in the case and i was like oh thank you so much very interesting uh but i, I was a little bit sad because he killed a bug but i was also like well whatever i guess i didn't do it so it doesn't really matter <laughs> and uh We'll move over to the next one, which is this beetle. It's a chunky beetle. Um, so that one is pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, I found this one on a sidewalk, and it was in the hot weather, and it was just sitting there, and I was like, dang, this is awesome. I actually got this case on Amazon, if you guys are wondering. I can put a link in the bio for you guys. Uh, I think it was, it was actually pretty cheap, and it holds up really well. Like, I could shake it, and nothing moves. So, like, it's pretty legit. And then we're down to this beetle. These beetles are common and, oh, wow. We'll put it in the, cir the circle. There we go. We'll put it in the center of the circle. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer so you guys can really, ah, man, you guys, I want to really try to show the color on this thing because this thing's actually really shiny. If you look at it here, oh, man, it's so hard to actually be able to, really show the color of it but if you guys see all right so now that i showed you guys the color of the beetle um it's really pretty i gotta say it's really cool and i found this one on our porch and like i said these are commonly found around uh, uh lights i guess I, I find these a lot around uh lights in like middle of like summer fallish and that's kind of where i found this one so and then we got two little caterpillar dudes um these guys right here um oh wow oh, oh, oh wow well, reverse there we go boom so we got these two little guys i found these at skate parks actually um the same skate park i believe as well and uh they are two different two different colors um one the white one has actually more of a red head, and then the other one has a black head, and this one is white, and the other one is, like, brown. So I thought that was really interesting, and actually, the first one that I got right here was this, uh, this moth right here. This moth was a white moth, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I just figured I would, uh, put it in there. Um, pretty much the way that you have to do this is you have to put these in, like, a small little container which i have these little like sealed off containers and you're gonna get in, like a wet paper towel and you put it in there with a the butterfly or the moth or whatever and it actually wets the wings so that you can actually spread the wings whenever you set them in there once again all of these that i found were dead and like i said the only one that was killed was this one and it was my brother i did not kill it <laughs> so we got this little guy right here um probably one of my least favorites because the wings are a little bit messed up i think it was my fault for actually putting it in uh incorrectly but you know my mistake uh we got this one right here which is it, it reminds me of like a luna moth from skyrim it's the green one right here uh green yellow kind of like a dew yellow um but it, it's weird because it looks like it almost yeah it's definitely a yellow it's definitely a yellow but if it's a uh, green green or yellow leave it in the comments below so oh man 
I actually broke the wing of this one trying to put it in here and it made me really sad. So I actually finagled it just perfect enough that it looks like it's actually still attached. And we're gonna jump over to the next section, which is the feathers. Oh, by the way, these ones were just found in the house. These two right here, because uh, I never actually explained where these, were, uh, these ones were from. And then this one, I think my dad found it for me. So that was pretty cool. So we got two feathers. Um, this feather right here, I think I found this at somewhere around uh, our house. And we have chickens, and maybe a chicken feather actually. But uh, this one, I found this one outside as well of our house, and I have no idea what it is, but I would assume that it's some basic kind of bird. And then we got a locust here. Um, these guys come around, they seem to be coming around a little bit more often than usual, but they're supposed to be like seven years or something like that, coming around every seven years. So I got one of these chunky boys. Oh, oh, sorry. But I got one of these chunky boys. I'm going to let you guys see that real quick. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. Uh, I love the colors on him. And uh, it's like an orange with a little bit of tint of green and yellow. Really interesting. And then we got some more little bugs. <laughs> it, I'm not too sure if this guy has any connection. This little beetle right here. Um, I'll have to uh, zoom in for you guys on that one. And uh, I got a sweat bee and a fly. My brother found me the fly and he gave it to me. The little beetle, I think I found this crumbled up on the ground, like a sidewalk. Sweat bee, I, I think I found that one in my car. Like, it ended up, like, flying in there. But we're going to try to show you guys all three of those. So those ones are really cool, in my opinion. Uh, the fly is just a fly. The sweat bee looks really nice. Looks really cool. Uh, really good condition. And then the other one looks like a little black rock. But I swear, it's a beetle. It is a beetle. I know it. <laughs> and uh, so we got another moth down here which is very similar uh, similar to the one that's up here. And I'm starting to wonder if it was the rustic water that dyed this one a little bit more yellow. Because if we look, the one on the bottom right here is actually a little bit more white than the one that's up here. So it could have been the case. I'm not too sure. But uh, I think I found this one uh, as well in my house. Um, we have dogs that we have to let out to use the restroom so a lot of the times we'll have dead moss on like the corner of the windows and stuff like that just your typical stuff and I would pretty much just collect them and just store them pretty much and then we got this fat moth right here dude I was so excited about this one uh right here in the corner this one is huge um I believe that um it was one of um, my girlfriend's friends ended up finding this one for me. And I, it was either they found it together or something. They, I just remember that uh, they ended up finding it for me and left it in the back of their car so that I could actually take it home with me. And I was so excited about this one because of how big it is. It's such a like it's it's quite large compared to all the other moths that I have. So. Then we got a butterfly. I actually, I didn't find this butterfly. A My uh, my girlfriend's sister found this for me. And it was in her room. She ended up uh, finding it dead in her room. And she gave it to me. And boy was I happy. Because this is a beautiful, I think that they're just a basic monarch. But uh, I might be wrong. I think that's the name. It's a monarch butterfly. She found this in her room. I, uh, right now it's winter time. A lot of the bugs are in the grounds hibernating or they're, I, I don't, I don't really know what bugs do. I, I think that they hibernate or they just die and then they come back. Very strange thing. They might be, I, I don't know how it works, but anyways, we're going to see a lot more of these come back up and hopefully I can collect more feathers. Uh, cause I did find this is the most recent find was this feather right here. So hopefully we can find some more. If you guys did enjoy this video, then we can actually go into great detail about and try to find every single name for these bugs and uh, these moths and butterflies and stuff like that. And find the actual names, maybe find the feather names and everything. I think that could be really fun. I only know a few of the basic ones, but yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, then uh, uh, likes always appreciated. And yeah, um, this was very fun. And I was excited to show you guys my collection. So 
I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.